White people don't know nothing about Aboriginal culture. Only time they know something about Aboriginal culture when it's negative in the papers. It's no good for us. They bypass all the positive things. Ah, it's just another thing. They don't want to know the positive things. We're trying hard to be positive. With the radio station and with our own works around town, we're trying to be positive. But, but we're gonna... this, this has to be addressed, doesn't it? This kind of injustice has to be spoken about. Well, this, of course it has to be addressed. I mean, we, we, you know, what can you, if we can't say sorry enough to the family, you just read the papers and who's writing the papers? From what, what are we reading the paper? Is that all the evidence we've got? We got to go on what evidence we get from the papers, and we have to make a judgment from what we read in the papers. What's withheld from the papers? Apparently, there's a lot of things, being lot of things withheld at the moment because there's a whole different lot of material coming out. Some people, you know, the investigating officers say this, the coroner says this, the DPP says that, and Beatty says this. So we haven't got anything to say until we get an answer. So what do you think should happen? What should well, the government should, be doing? What should the which, people be doing? Well, apparently the government doesn't have an Aboriginal Advisory Commission. They don't see the need for it. They see the need for other cultural advisory things around the world. That, you know, I mean, Middle East and where there could be a problem, you know, we don't seem to be a problem. So just sweep it under the carpet. It's, it's, you know, it, needs, it needs a full address. You know, we just need to have a look at what, lay all the evidence, put your cards on the bloody table and stop with the lying and stop with the covering up and stop with the political aspects. And, you know, we just need to have a look at what, lay all the evidence, put your cards on the bloody table and stop with the lying and stop with the covering up and stop with the political aspects. And, I don't know, I'd like answers so I can go take a negative step tomorrow. I've got to deal with people every day. How do I deal with them? By having this hate inside me because I don't know what I'm talking about? What is the next step? Go on. I'm no bloody politician. We're, I wouldn't told, want it. we're told don't question the umpire's decision. That's basically look what... At the, look at the Perth Noongar native title decision only a few months ago. Who's questioning the umpire's decision there? The Western Australian State Government and the Federal Government. Here, where, uh, it's being questioned here. But here, it's a justice issue here. So Beattie's telling us, don't question the umpire's decision. The umpire is the DPP, don't question her decision. It's just rubbish. It's, it's outrageous. Sorry, Doc, sorry, Doc, what is the depth of feeling here today? What's the depth of feeling? The depth of feeling? It's shock. It's outrage. We can't believe that the... the, the um, Le uh, that the... What's the depth of feeling here today? We can't believe... The shock here is outrage and, and, and it's, it's just shock. We can't believe that the coroner's office can hand down one decision that says... This man is responsible for the death. And then the Director of Public Prosecution's office says, no, there's not enough evidence here to charge him. They're looking at the same sets of evidence. We cannot believe that that's the case. Um, but where people are here to, to see that justice is done, I mean, police like cells are now. supposed to be safe places. There's going to be a lot of people in police cells over this next month, month and a half, due to the festive season. We'd like to think that they're safe places. It's obviously not. This has gone on for far too long. Indigenous people being treated in this way is far too long. It's got to stop. I'm in total disbelief of how it turned out. Um, I'm very hurt and saddened by um, his family, the deceased family. It's, we have a respect not to use their name. Um, I just can't understand. I mean, if, if the sergeant had um, done something, then say it. Don't hide behind papers and words and money. We don't have enough money to teach white people about us. We don't have enough money to inquire about all this sort of stuff. So we're asking for honesty. Well, you what is speak the media or any aspect of uh, this coming this Christmas year? What would you say to the media in terms of giving this the fourth the Well, I'd, I'd, I'd prefer the media work with the police liaison officers and the Aboriginal liaison officers and the government liaison officers to straighten this out so that they can make a report not on page 15 down the bottom as an apology but at least something that everyone can say especially his family Christmas is supposed to be a time of family and joy you know, it's, it's a bit hard to be 
joyous at a time like this when you don't have answers. You know, a lot of people don't even know what Christmas is about anymore. Are you planning on addressing this crowd? What would you say to the media? Huh? What would I say to the media? Yeah. Are you planning on addressing Well, uh, we'd have to think about that, but there's there, there probably people out there. But just for somebody in the state. Is that well, well if, they could, if they could talk about umpires, why didn't they bring in an outside umpire to try and um, umpire this? They can do it in cricket, bring in an international umpire. Well, I reckon there might There's be a bloody good umpire team. in cricket. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so now it's third umpire in cricket. So, you know, the word justice we're talking about. The funny thing about this, I knew there was a protest here today because my neighbours are the mounted police and they told me they cancelled the barbecue they cancelled the barbecue last night because they were coming to a protest and I said oh well if you don't come if there's no barbecue I'm coming to the protest that makes sense do you think there should be an indigenous input into the inquiry like a um, like Pat O'Shea or someone like that I don't know if it's Pat O'Shea I see someone from up that area up there is none other than Noel Pearson that man's got more than a head on his shoulder. He's got direction and he's got good leadership. So with Noel Pearson's um, request into... If they request Noel Pearson to have a look in there, he'll be judgmental to the way that everyone respects of him and everyone understands what Noel Pearson says. So if he's up there, get him on the job as to things and otherwise call in someone from... I don't know who else could you call in. Who else could you call in? Yeah, there'd be others around. Dotto? Well, there's Tom Kelmer, the, the commissioner for um, human rights. Yeah. Tom Kelmer, an Aboriginal man, you know. He could be involved. Um, he's got a high post, a government post, Aboriginal man. That's one person that could be... Um